Well, here we are at one of the two Glen Rock stations. And uh, there's a sign for Harold's Farm there. It's a pretty decent sized parking lot. And when I was doing a little research on Glen Rock's two stations, they combined the ridership of the two into one. So I'm not sure which one has more ridership. I'll see if there's a breakdown for 2019. So this is on the main line and the other line is supposedly a couple blocks away on the Bergen County line. So it's a neat old uh, station house with a lot of rocks because we're in Glen Rock. And there is a huge rock along the main street here. I thought I'd see it as I was coming into town on none other than Rock Road. Everything's rock here. So I have some bike parking and they call it the museum at the station now. So it's a Sunday morning about 1130 and this is the first of the two Glen Rock stations. We'll take a look at the next one next. I'm just looking to see if there's a map. This has got everything. It's uh, Harold's Farm, it's the Historical Society, it's a museum, it's the VFW Post, it's the American Legion Hall. They've got books you can take. That's downtown Glen Rock over there. It's a cute little downtown. So it could be fixed up a little bit. I don't know whose responsibility that is. I don't think we're going to find a regular big map here, so we'll have to use this little map to show you where we are. But we're here at the Glen Rock Station on the main line, and we're going to go over to the Burrow Hall Station now in Glen Rock. Glen Rock on the main line. And as we go down the main street of Glen Rock, at, I think we're on Rock Avenue at Glen Avenue. There's a northbound train going out of the station on the Bergen County line. Headed for Bridgewood. So let's check out the Bergen County Line Station here in Glen Rock. So there's the Glen Rock Municipal Building. And here's the Borough Hall Station. So maybe that municipal building could be considered the Borough Hall of Glen Rock. There's just a little station house here, but there's a platform canopies down here as we walk directly into the sun, but you need it because it's a little cooler in early December. It's like December 12th, roughly. It's an impressive city hall. Decent amount of parking here too.
So parking wise, I don't know whether you'd pick one station over the other. So the canopy could use a little paint job. That is a very small little station house. Which I'll take a look at. But nice wide platforms, long platforms too. As it curves around and then there's a little handicapped accessible mini platform way down at the southern end of the station. So I guess this station would be the handicapped accessible out of the two Glenrock stations. And I'm curious as to how people pick one station over the other and whether the trains run more often at one than the other. Because I imagine your main destination when you get on a train at Glenrock would be the city. Either Secaucus transferring to a Penn Station New York train or going all the way to Hoboken. So I guess you have to walk up and around. There's no tunnel between the two sides here at Glenrock Borough Hall. So here we are on the inbound side. So I can hear a train on the other line, the main line. And here's the little waiting room. It's got a vent, and that's about it. area so the next station south is Hawthorne and looking northbound towards Ridgewood Glenrock Borough Hall and here's a regulation size map just to show you where we are we're at Glenrock Borough Hall and then we were previously at the mainline station and now we're going to go up to Ridgewood and that'll do it for all the stations on the Bergen County and mainlines in Bergen County, New Jersey. Well, now we're in beautiful downtown Ridgewood and we're on the outbound side of the station. And just to show you where we are, we're at Ridgewood, where the Main and Bergen County lines merge. So there's these attractive station houses. That's the main station down there. Let me just walk up the outbound side. There's a decent amount of parking, not a ton, but I can see a parking garage near here. I believe this station gets the most ridership in Bergen County. And it's also probably the nicest station. High level platforms. The handicap room. I don't know if there are elevators down here to the south. But we'll take a closer look. 
at Ridgewood. It's just such a pretty station. I want to keep filming it. Love these green roofs. Really a classic look. I'm curious as to when this station was built. Station house on the outbound side. Don't know what this is going on here though. It's like it's not really being utilized. So let's see how to get over to the center platforms here at Ridgewood. Kind of rusty underneath here under the bridge deck. Stalactites. Elevator. Outbound side. Let's go over to the inbound side. Another elevator. Bike storage. More bike racks. That's a waiting room. Looks like it's all lit up. Maybe a ticket office. So there must be a train coming fairly soon. There's people waiting here. Some of the electronic message signs. The next stop north is Hohokus, which I've shown in a previous video. All right, let me take some pictures here at Ridgewood. An older style station, but these platforms are new. We're walking north on the inbound platform. Everything looks in great shape. So, just the part underneath the tracks by the road, and I don't know who's responsible for that, but this is looking back into the sun, looking south. It's around 12 noon, so that sun is right in the middle of the sky here at Ridgewood. Here's another look at that great looking station here at Ridgewood as the train comes in going to Hoboken. Said it's the seventh, the twelve thirty. Twelve thirty on a Sunday. Ridgewood. And 
this historical information flag says it's a example probably the only one in New Jersey of the mission revival style it's more typical of California built in 1916 Quick pan back, looking at the outbound side of the station. And you have to go under the tracks to get from one side of Ridgewood to the other. And there's a look at the inbound side of the station. As we head south and out of town here in Ridgewood. Here's the former train station of Wharton Dyke. And I seen something about this and I saw this out of the corner of my eye. So I don't know whether we're in Midland Park or Ridgewood or maybe even Wyckoff, New Jersey, but uh, there used to be a station here and there's still some parking. I guess we're in Midland Park. The Wharton Dyke Station.